Engineer 775 here with uh, Fighting Fires with Your Pool Part 1. Uh, I've been thinking about how I could get all the water from my pool, about 19,000 gallons. How could I use that um, to uh, fight fires? And so what I've done is I've just made some simple modifications to my existing plumbing. And on the, yeah, I can either pump to waste, if you're familiar with these, there's backwash and waste, and I'm, you can go to either one where it's basically taking the water, pumping the water out through your waste line, which mine's buried and goes out in the woods. So what I'm gonna be able to do is use these valves and I'll start, I'll open the firefighting line and then start feathering this one off and then that'll take my fire hose. And what I did is I just put a, one of those quick quick coupler connections on here to make it a little easy and adapted to, uh, to fire hose fittings here. So I got a regular fire hose thread. I put new gaskets and everything. I picked up some fire hose and uh, also picked up a cool old brass, I don't know how old this thing is, 60 years old or something old brass nozzle. So this is very simple. This isn't a, uh, I could get a better nozzle or fogger or adjustable, but you know, my goal is to get as much water from that swimming pool on the house as fast as possible. So I've had my kids out here. We did a little drill last night, see how fast um, we could do this because at the, at the first sign of a fire, I would be, uh, besides calling for the fire department, um, I'd be th taking buckets. We have, uh, orange buckets that we would set up and start throwing that water that's probably the quickest thing I would do but if I really needed to pump a lot of water or I've had I've had people that are actually bucketing the water at the same time we could get our uh, fire hose set up so that's kind of what we did a drill on last night and so I'm just going to show you it's not a tremendous amount of water but what I'm going to be doing is using the existing pool pump and this is a 220 or 110 volt pump. I have it on 110. And the reason I did that, because if there's a fire in the house, a lot of times what you'd want to do is shut the power off to everything, not to make things, you know, not so you don't make things worse. So I'd shut the electricity off. And then uh, um, I've wired this 110, my pool pump. That way I can, independent of the house, plug that into a small generator to run this pump to pump all this water on the house. So that's what I did. That's where we got stage one here. What I'm eventually gonna do, I put another three-way valve on here that I can actually plumb to like a transfer pump. Um, and so that would be a gas pump that I could take all the water from the bottom of the pool and uh, dump that on the house. And then I can, um, obviously I got some more control here, so I'm pulling, I don't wanna pull any of the water from the top of the pool. I'm gonna pull it all from the drain so I don't ever suck any air. So you can see my drains. I got two of the bottom drains in the bottom of the pool. And again, just redid the liner because I had the code now is can't have one drain, you gotta have two. So anyway, they won't clog and I can take all this water and dump it on the house. Um, I don't have it yet, but I've ordered some extra fire hose that I can add on this. And my goal would be able to be able to walk through my entire house and fight a fire from within inside the house if I had to, or fight a fire from outside the house. So uh, maybe the fire's on the other side and I have to go through the house, through a window, through doors to get to it. I'm gonna have enough hose to reach every square foot of the house. That's my goal. And not investing a lot of money, just using, I found some used, pretty good shape though, fire hose. And uh, old nozzle I picked up on the side of the road at an antique store a couple weeks back and then plumbing to modify your pool and again rewire it for 110 unless you have a portable 220 pump so and I think what am I doing um, it's a horse and a half so I've got it's a horse and a half pump uh, I don't remember the plates not tell me the amperage that was 14 amps Anyway, max amps, oh, 16, 16 amps on times 120. So, you know, I'm pushing out 1800 plus watts. So, uh, and plus a surge, I'd need a 3000 watt generator to, to do that um, if I wasn't gonna have power out here, which would probably be the plan. So, um, right now I've just got it, it's kind of wired up temporarily. So I'm gonna start this thing up on waste. This is off, slightly off. I'm going to go to waste and pump some water.
So if there was a fire, I would turn that off. So I'm only pulling water from my bottom drain right now. And I'm pumping water to waste. I'm going to start pushing some water out to my firefight nozzle here. That's pretty good flow. It's a lot faster than I can carry water. So we got a full hose here. Let's go fight a fire. Obviously, if you got some help, you want to take all the kinks out. You're going to take all the kinks out of that line. So I could hit that house pretty good. I'm shooting up there. Put some water in the gutter. <laughs> so. It's not as good as a fire truck, but until the fire truck gets here, I'm going to do what I can to fight some fire. So I'm blasting the house, and maybe it's a fire out here, outside on the yard. Who knows? And uh, but anyway, I want to fight some fire. So that's pretty good. I'm probably pumping 20, 30 gallons a minute, maybe more. I got to measure that. So I can put some water on this house. I got, I've got, I got 18, 18, 19,000 gallons to work with. So uh, and this might be a real good soaker hose to get the kids while they're swimming too. So if anybody is acting up, I'll just blast them with a fire hose. And uh, again, you want to get any kinks out of there. So that's pretty good. That's shooting water pretty good. I, I would say that would, you know, that's a lot of buckets of water right there by hand. So again, simple nozzle, no controls on it. It's just turn it on and go, because I didn't want to put any back pressure on uh, on my pump. You can't just shut it off. You just can't shut it off here. If you shut it off here, you're going to kill that pump. So you want to keep no, keep the restrictions uh, to a minimum. Okay, uh, this is. Uh, who am I? Oh, engineer seven seven five. This is firefighting with uh, your pool pump, with making minimal changes. This will be part one. If you got any cool ideas, I'm just kind of getting started with it. Wanted to do two or three ways I could get all the water from that pool on my house in case of a fire. Engineer 775, signing out.